Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I told you guys in my last video that I had one more piece of uh, new gear to test out for 2019. Then I'm going to do a complete loadout of my uh, bushcraft pack for you guys. But one new piece of equipment that I have not yet tested. I've been saving it. So I bought the Benchmade Bushcrafter, which uh, you guys saw a couple weeks ago absolutely love it the more i use it the more i like it i bought the uberlieben kessel to cook in and then i bought the new uberlieben hexafire six inch hexagon shaped ferro rod well i like to carry two bushcraft knives with me whenever i'm out one for primary use which my benchmade bushcrafter has been doing and one that's a little bit smaller that I can use for a backup knife in case something would happen to my main knife and also so that I can use it uh, for finer carving. So, brand new, have not used it yet, the new Benchmade Puko. This is the Puko from Benchmade. It's made of uh, one of those uh, stainless steels, the super steels, I think it's what, S... S30V or something real close to that. I'm, I'm not really good on my steels, but uh, it's the same steel, I believe, as the Bushcrafter. It is a high-end stainless steel. It's got a full tang and a handle that is very, very comfortable. It's real similar to the handles, handles they put on a Mora, but I would say um, higher quality, more comfortable in my hand. So, first time out, first time I've ever used it, I'm going to try this out right now on some different notches and carving and just see how it feels. Nice. Very, very comfortable in my hand. I would say that is probably the most comfortable knife I have ever held in my hand for carving the way I am right now. The grip is really nice, and it's taken some nice big chunks out. Try a chest lever cut, see if we can take some, oh yeah. Nice. Well, it definitely does a uh, nice job of removing material. So let's try some basic notches and just see how this thing works. Start with a seven notch. Use these all the time when I'm making tent stakes or tie outs. Very nice, very comfortable in the hand. Well, that is a really comfortable to use carving knife. Now everybody has different hand sizes and everybody has a different type of feel they like in their hand. Um, but for me, I would say for a smaller carving knife, I have yet to hold a more comfortable one. I'm really, really enjoying this. And it is doing just a wonderful job. Very nice. Yeah. Carve me out a nice notch in no time. Let's try a couple others and just, just like I said, just getting the feel of it, you know. First time I've ever used it, it's going to take me a little while to uh, get completely comfortable with it. But... So far, I am really, really liking it. Yeah. 
and there's no better way to test a knife than to just get out and start carving. Carve some of your notches, some points on sticks, some tent stakes, whatever it is that you would normally uh, be out using your knife for. And time will tell. Just carving a pot hook notch. Just to get a little bit more use out of it here, see how it feels using removing some more material. But I sure do like the way it feels in my hand, I'll tell you that. I wouldn't use it instead of the bench made bushcrafter for my primary knife just because the bushcrafter is you know a heavier blade uh, a thicker spine for batoning you know for bigger jobs I'm always gonna grab this but I can tell you right now anytime I want to do some real fine carving like if I was making some uh, small figure four traps or something right now I would definitely grab this and it will make a nice backup knife you know you never know when you're out something could go wrong you could always lose a blade um, worst case scenario break a blade and to have a backup knife with you is just common sense you know it's the tool that you use more than any other when you're out so it would make sense to have a backup for it just in case. So anyway, nice. Carve me out just a little pot hook there and you now it needs a little bit more cleanup work, but I've actually got my Uberlieben Kessel out here today and I'm gonna cook a uh, lunch. I'm gonna uh, build me a little tripod and try hanging it from a tripod. In my video you saw I put it on a crane and um, use it that way. Today I'm going to try it hanging from a tripod, but I sure am liking that as well. I am not disappointed in any of the gear that I've bought for 2019. And it's a lot of fun to just come out and test new gear. So, you know, it's a carver. It is definitely a nice little carving knife. Just, uh, does a wonderful wonderful job and like I said it feels great in the hand it's made um, of one of those new uh, super steels the stainless steels that are supposed to stay sharp for a very very long time and I always strop my knives after every use and they seem to just hold an edge for pretty much almost forever you know by doing that but tops I mean excuse me not tops. I used to carry tops knives, and I, since then I've just found other knives. I switched from tops over to Becker because I like the Becker better, and now I've switched to Benchmade because I like the Benchmade better. But uh, Benchmade Puko, highly recommended. First time I've ever used it, but I really enjoyed it. It is a good carver, and uh, you guys will be seeing me carrying this along with my Bushcrafter throughout the 2019 season. So next video. I'm going to do a load out of my pack, and then from there, we'll just uh, see what the season brings and uh, make videos uh, of whatever I'm out here doing. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and take care out there this summer.